How's it going everybody? It's Rosie here for Astrophotography and today I'm super excited because I've just been sent to review this. The ZWO ASI 533, 533, 533 MC Pro called One Shot Color CMOS Camera. Real fast, if you're new here and you want reviews, how-tos and vlogs for all things astrophotography, be sure to subscribe, hit the bell, and you're never gonna miss an upload. So, let's unbox this puppy. The ASI 533 comes in a nice compact box like this. It's not like the Hypercams where they came in their own Pelican case. It comes with an armored case, but this is still quite nice but you know, we're here for the what's inside of it. Oh, excuse me. Ah. Oh, nearly there. Well, that's obviously the camera in there. But before that, what have we got in the box? We have a USB three cable. And we'll go for this one next. This is, I think that's a USB type B cable. Another one. Looks like, what is this? So this looks like an adapter. It's got threads on both sides. This probably steps down from M48 to M42 maybe the one and a quarter inch nose piece. This camera, I'm trying this overhead camera angle and it's not focusing. A front plate of some description, I presume. Delrin washers. 21 millimeter extender. Oh, 61 millimeter, uh, 16 and a half millimeter and a 21 millimeter for, what's that? 37 and a half millimeters. Oh. That might be exactly what you need to get 55 millimeters. So if that's what that is, this gives you enough extension in it straight away for most reducers and coma correctors. Quality control. And the instruction book. No, no one reads those. On to the main event then. How is it? Do I make a good hand model? This is a lovely little padded bag, actually. I think I prefer this little padded bag to the big Pelican cases from out there. This is just more compact. Wow, that's, um, that's something else. Look at that, that is gorgeous. The pictures just don't do this justice for how beautiful this red effect, this red, I think it's anodization, looks, but yeah. So there it's got a USB 2 hub on it. The USB 3 in, that's for your actual uh, connecting to the camera. And of course a DC 12 volt center tip positive plug in, and that's for the tech cooling. I'm being defeated by a cap. Eh. There it is. So it says this has a one inch square sensor on it, but now I'm looking at it. Does that seem like one inch square to you? So let's see, this is the one and a quarter inch nose piece and that just screws straight on. So this would be, I'd presume, start using this in a planetary mode maybe it can do planetary it apparently does 20 frames per section at 3008 pixels by 3008 pixels that'll be the adapter and you should put your reducer flattener here it has got 17 and a half millimeters back focus from this flange to the sensor so with 37 and a half millimeters extension it goes straight into your reducer flattener or your coma corrector and that is perfectly backspaced so it's nice that that's included in the box. You don't have to worry about buying that separately. But yeah, this just looks very exciting to use. Where did I put the cap? Can I put the cap back on it now? Oh, 
I'm looking forward to getting this onto my telescope and I'm looking forward to taking some photos with it. And that is what happens when you unbox a 533 camera from ZWO. I'm really excited about using the 533 camera. Just this claim of zero amp glow for me is particularly interesting as I am sure it is to you. And the square format aspect ratio, how bizarre is that for a deep sky astro astro for a deep sky astronomy camera? Just I'm really interested in seeing how that plays into composition and framing of deep sky objects. I was told it's from the medium format days, but we'll see how it plays into this. I will have a full review of this camera up on this channel in due course. So be sure you subscribe ready for that. And in the meantime, that is what happens when you unbox a 533 camera. Thanks very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you dislike it, give it a thumbs down. And if you have any comments about it, what do you think of the square format camera? Is it a bit strange? And do you have any questions that you want me to find out about this camera? If you do, drop them in the comments. Thanks very much for watching. Hope you have clear skies. Keep looking up and keep them cameras clicking. See you later.